Frank Mba, the Force Public Relations Officer, joins us live via Skype. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you. It's interesting to know that the IGP and some police officers, including you, have tested for the COVID-19. What's your experience? Well, uh, for us, it is just one of those things that needed to be done. And um, they, they speaking factually, you will remember that there have been things, there have been a lot of insinuations, particularly on the social media and some form of innuendos, that because uh, uh, the IGP hosted some persons of interest during the wedding ceremony of his son, uh, the IGP um, was uh, uh, considered a possible um, a po I, I, the, the IGP was considered as someone who has made some primary contact, and um, with that kind of insinuations out there in the public, it, it became imperative for the IGP to voluntarily take this test, and he took the test, and of course, he did not just take the test alone. He took the test uh, with some other officers that work very closely with him. And uh, to the glory of God, the test came out and uh, we all turned, returned a negative result. But for us, uh, beyond the fact that the result is comforting and reassuring, nothing will change in fundamentally in our day-to-day activities. We'll continue to observe those uh, precautionary measures that we've always observed. We we'll continue to maintain the social distancing rules. We continue to maintain that very high level of hygiene that is uh, one of the key um, conditions or one of the um, key precautionary measures for, for, for preventing the spread of COVID-19. And that's exactly what the IGP has uh, uh, also implored other police officers across the country to do. And it might also interest you that uh, policing is a very high social contact. It, policing involves a lot of social contact. You, we, we have to come in contact with our, our citizens. We come not just at the police station at the scene of crime, at the scene of accident, uh, when there's domestic violence, we're responding to distress calls. So we are also at, at risk. And if you take note of what is happening in some other police departments across the world, uh, like in New York, where well over 250, close to about 250 police officers have already been affected uh, by COVID-19, uh, you understand that police officers, um, policing comes with a lot of hazard, a lot of occupational risk and hazards. Uh, but we must continue to do our best. We must continue to, to, to be out there on the front line, protecting our people and providing needed support to okay. those who are combating COVID-19 at the medical level.